hey guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'm gonna show you how i blow dry and flat iron my hair so if you want to know how i straighten my hair while maintaining its body and keeping it light and flowy then just keep on watching All right, so fresh out the shower, I've shampooed and deep conditioned my hair, which is the very first step before you apply any heat to your hair. You wanna make sure that your hair is clean and adequately moisturized. So I'm going in with my first product, which is the Afoji Pro Vitamin Leave-In Conditioner. That is my staple, I love that stuff. And I just put in a small spray bottle just so I could spray it on my hair. And you will notice throughout this video that I use very little products. That is key when it comes on to having straight hair that isn't weighed down. All right, so after I apply my leave-in conditioner, I'm just gonna detangle my hair as usual. After I've detangled my hair, I'm gonna actually allow my hair to air dry. I allow my hair to air dry to about 75% of the way just so that my the length of my hair is dry but my roots are still kind of wet and I'm gonna start sectioning my hair off for blow drying I usually section off in four sections of course I could only find one clip how convenient <laughs> so I just put all the three sections up and begin working on the first section of course I apply my heat protectant this one is by Tresemme it's one of my favorites and I was having some trouble with the safety lock there which makes it great for traveling by the way because it won't spill in your luggage or anything but after I've applied my heat protectant I'm gonna go in with my blow dryer this one is by Kiss I actually just got this for Christmas and I like it so far so my tips for blow drying are to hold your hair taut and you want to focus on your roots. Since the length of my hair is basically dry, I don't focus on the length of my hair as much as I do my roots because at this point my roots are wet. And of course I've sped this section up but in total it takes like less than 50 minutes to dry my hair. Alright, so this is what my hair looks like after I'm finished blow drying. It's still pretty light. Now what I'm gonna do now is apply a little bit of serum and a moisturizing hair butter, just a little tops as we'd say in Jamaica, like a little bit. And I apply that all over my hair and that's just gonna add extra moisture to my hair and also make it nice and shiny. Now because it's so cold where I am, the butter actually kind of is a little hard. So what I'm going to do after applying this is run the hair dryer back through my hair to make sure that everything is nice and melted into my hair.
Okay, time for flat ironing, and this is a flat ironing I use. I've had it for so long that the brand has rubbed off, but it's Con Air. Don't know the model, I've had it for so long, but it still works. So now I'm gonna begin sectioning off my hair. I usually use like half inch sections. Um, the smaller the section, the less heat you need to use. So I usually do really small sections. I'm just gonna pin the rest of my hair up out of the way. And then that back section, I'm just gonna split it in half. And I use the chase method where I use a comb to comb it out and then I follow it with the flat iron. And I typically only do one pass on each section. There are some instances if I feel like it needs more, I go in with another pass, but typically I only do one pass, but I do several passes at my roots, especially since I'm like three months post. So I do like two to three passes on my roots and then one pass down the length of my hair. I mean, the blow dryer got it pretty straight, so I don't need to do more than that. And I just continued this whole process throughout my whole head. So again, I comb out my hair and I use a flat iron and I do a couple passes at the roots to get it straight because of course that's where my natural hair is coming in and one pass down the length of my hair. Pretty simple guys. Alright, so I'm just going to speed this section up so you can see what I'm doing. I also want to mention that you need to pay attention to the temperature at which you flat iron your hair. Of course, different flat irons have different heat settings. Some have the temperatures, some have just a dial with numbers that you can kind of gauge. But you want to make sure that you use a temperature between 300 and 350 is what I recommend. Um, hair burns at 450, so you never want to go that high. I usually stick between 350 360 because my hair is quite normal um, of course finer hair you want to go lower and thicker hair you might want to go higher but never past like 400 all right
all right guys so this is what my hair looks like when it's done it's still full of body it's really flowy it has movement and this is how i've been doing my hair for a very long time so if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next one bye <laughs>